Let's begin by settling our body. As always, our backs are straight, shoulders relaxed. Head gently tilted downward. To naturally straighten your spine a little bit more. Putting a little smile on your face to allow all those facial muscles to relax. That holds so much tension there. Eyes can be cracked open to let some light in or shut if you prefer. Most importantly, to make sure our backs are straight to allow the air to flow through our body. At the same time, all our muscles, our face, our shoulders should be relaxed. You could even breathe into them if they feel especially tight or tense somewhere. Release that energy. And now we shift to our shamatha practice for a few minutes, our grounding, stabilizing practice. You can watch your breath either at your abdomen as it rises and falls, or at the very tip of your nostril, the sensations there. See if you can rest your attention at the point you choose. Very lightly on this flow of breath. Allowing all other thoughts, distractions, sounds to just fade away in the background. Ground ourselves with this breath for a few minutes.
Now, keeping about 10% of our attention still with our breath as a sort of anchor, we shift to our compassion meditation. So compassion is the wish for people to be free of suffering. Last week, we did a loving kindness meditation, which is a little different. That's the wish for beings to be happy, to receive what they desire. This is the wish for a being to be free of their mental and physical pain, of the wheel of samsara even. And as always, we start with ourselves because we are just another sentient being who is wanting to be free of suffering. And so we look to ourselves and we recognize in ourselves that wish to be free of suffering. And that often, because our minds are deluded and clouded, it leads us to doing maybe harmful things or saying words we didn't mean, doing things that may not be best for us or for others. We recognize that and we feel compassion towards ourselves. May I be free of this mental pain. May I be free of suffering. And as you repeat this phrase, may I be free of suffering, you can breathe in this white light from the universe around you. And breathe it into yourself, feel it filling up your body, and really releasing you from this pain, physical, mental. May I be free of suffering. And every in-breath, breathe in this white light. Now bring to mind in front of you 
somebody who is very close to you or a mentor, a role model, a benefactor, somebody whom when you think of just brings a smile to your face. Someone who really wishes you well and you wish them well. Bring this person in front of you. And begin to wish them, may you be free of suffering. May you be free of suffering. And breathe out this white light towards them. every out breath. Now let this person dissolve and bring to mind somebody who is a complete stranger to you. Maybe you just know them by first name. Somebody in your community, somebody who sells you Subsies and fruits. You know practically nothing about them, but you see them here and there. Bring this person to mind and recognize that they too are experiencing suffering. They're probably experiencing the same mental afflictions, the same pain that we are. On a day-to-day basis. And so with each out-breath, breathe out that same white light towards them with the wish. May you be free of suffering. May you be free of suffering.
If at any point this practice starts to feel a little too hard, you're welcome to always return back to the self-compassion practice. Breathing that energy into yourself. But as the Dalai Lama says, if we have just one candle, it can light a hundred others without losing a single breath. So there's no need to worry about feeling depleted. But if you do, always return back to the self-compassion practice. Now let this person also dissolve. And bring to mind somebody whom you do not get along with. Somebody with whom you may have arguments regularly, whom causes pain in you. makes you unhappy maybe. It could even be a politician, somebody you've never met before that angers you. And recognize that this person is also suffering. They're suffering from physical affliction, mental affliction. They may also have pains that we have no idea about. And so we bring them in front of us and on every out breath, we again send out this white light towards them with the wish, may you be free of suffering. May you be free of suffering. Now letting this person also dissolve. And zooming out to see all sentient beings on this planet, even beyond. They're all in suffering. Every human, every animal, 
moving in fear, moving in either physical, mental pain, Every single one of us is living in pain. We are in samsara. And in fact, you can even recognize that this is what leads us to do harmful actions to make bad decisions, use harmful words to react. This is what starts wars. We are all in pain, in this deep pain. So let that Seed of compassion arise spontaneously within you and send it out in all directions of the world. Wishing may all beings be free of suffering. Every being be free of their suffering. really wishing that this comes true.